Hi, this is Carrie, and I just thought I would throw together a really quick video to show you how to create and save sound to your flip charts. First, we'll start um, by giving you the directions and then I'll walk you through. First, open up a flip chart page. Then you're going to go to Tools, More Tools, and then the Sound Recorder. Third, you're going to select the Sound Recorder from the drop down menu. And then last, there are a couple of steps here. You're going to click record, make your recording, and then click the stop, and then name your file and save. And I know that sounds a little confusing, but as soon as I walk you through it, you'll get it. So let's go ahead and do this. So as you can tell, I've got my um, little cursor up here. I'm going to um, then step two, since I already have my, op my page open, I'm going to tools, and I'm going down to more tools, and I'm selecting my sound recorder. There it is. And you'll notice my little sound recorder bar. So here we have the record option and the stop option. The record option is going to make your recording. The stop option is not only going to stop it, it's going to prompt you to save it to a file folder. So we'll go ahead and make a little example recording. So here I go. This is Carrie, and I'm just making a quick recording to show you how to create sound for your flip chart. Now notice as I stop it, it not only stopped the recording, it actually opened up a new save as, and it shows me where I'm going to be saving it, and it's going directly into my sounds in my resource folder inside my active inspire folder. So I'll go ahead and save this as Carrie, ah, not carrot, <laughs> Carrie's sound. And I'm going to double click my sounds. And you'll see, look at all of the different sounds I have here. These are actually, um, I'm going to go over some ideas on how you can use this sound recording um, option in your lessons. So let me go ahead and click save. And you'll notice as soon as I click save, it not only saved it to my folder there, it actually saved it to this desk, um, the flip chart page, and there it is, and that's how I know it's there. And let's just go ahead and listen to it really quick. This is Carrie, and I'm just making a quick recording to show you how to create sound for your flip chart. Okay, so there's my recording, and it's saved here, as well as it saved it in that folder. So what we're going to do to next is we're going to go to the very next page, which gives you some options on how to uh, embed this tool into your lessons. So here we go, ideas for use in your classroom. First, you can have student-directed learning centers. This would allow you to work with small groups while um, various other students rotate into this learning center. They would listen to a recording, they'd make their own recordings, it'd be very much student-led. Student Next, add some excitement uh, to your vocabulary lesson. Record you saying the vocabulary word and have that attached to the text of it and it helps the students not only see the text but hear it as well. Third, Multi-step directions. If you find yourself giving directions again and again and again, and you get kind of tired of it, record it, and that way if, student, if a student didn't quite get it, they can come up to the board and click the directions one, two, three. As you see, I have the directions here. You could do the same thing and have audio attached to each one of those. That would be really good in a science classroom, I think. And lastly, and this is actually my favorite, um, believe it or not, students really enjoy reading orally when they have the option to record it. And I've done this a great deal in my um, interventions class, and you'd just be surprised in how much the students really enjoy listening to themselves and actually going through the process of using the technology to get the end result, which is them reading. And again, that is the goal. Um, uh, that's it for this little quick snippet and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.